Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to downtown Chicago. I'm in the middle of the street with my WowGo 2S Max. And I figured I'd go cruise around Chicago. Of course, I forgot my muffs for the uh, DJI mic. So we'll see if this actually uh, has a bunch of wind noise. If so, I'm going to be screwed. I got to watch out for potholes down here. So as a lot of you saw, we were at a speech, a Trump speech yesterday. We didn't know. We were just driving by on a bus and discovered, uh, there's Trump Tower right there, actually. That one there. So we just, we just were happened by on a bus and uh, we we're like, what's all this commotion? What's everybody doing here? And uh, they said, oh, Trump is speaking here. And so Ninja jumped out of the bus. He's <laughs> like, I got to go live. It was actually a really good time. Make sure I don't hit any potholes. I'm fully armored up, by the way. I've got like, uh, well, not fully armored up, at least from the waist down. That's what she said. I'm gonna wait because the traffic light is red and I got cars coming. I gotta put on a faster mode. Actually, I can go now. So this is the first trip with the uh, skateboard. I'm gonna have to test this video and see if I can hear anything. Cause that dang wind muff, I got my mic underneath my shirt. So hopefully that helps. Let me know how the sound works out. Hey. People are nice downtown Chicago. I just don't wanna get outside of downtown. So we had, a, we had a good time. It was fun, we hung out there for probably an hour and a half. It, I was, it was fun people watching because there was some pretty, everybody's really happy and having fun and good vibes. There was a few people though that I was like preoccupied with. If you saw that live stream from Ninja, you might notice that sometimes I was like kind of looking serious at stuff. And that was because I, there was a dude with a black bag that I was like, that dude doesn't look right. He's out of place. And then there was some protesters with masks on, um, like looking like they wanted to start something. They were like right on the edge of the wire, right on the fence there. Cars. You know what? I'm gonna go right. This is a nice tree-lined street downtown. Vicky's Nails and Spa. If you need the nails done. Woo a lot more to pay attention to here. Hey, anybody want a free scooter? We had, uh, we went to a place, I can't remember what it's called now, darn it. Outside the hotel, they had these, this Diablo punch. Super good. And here we go. Cars behind me. I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to look back. I've got enough shit to do with the uh, camera and the remote and the traffic. I'm really hoping this wind noise isn't bad. If it is, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I've never done a voiceover thing, so, and I don't really wanna start. I don't know how to edit. The architecture down here is absolutely amazing. I think it would be nice if they uh, actually had, uh, you know, like, good laws and good taxation stuff, because this place would be, it'd be cool to live downtown Chicago, but as you know, they're not uh, friendly to freedom. 
that's I'm something I'm pretty big a fan, pretty big fan of, I guess. Being free. No cars, no cars. It's nice skateboarding downtown Chicago in this weather. Why is that car? These Rivian's headlights are all on in the showroom. I don't know what time it is. Early, like five, four, thirty, four, four, five, four, five. Oh, three, two, one. I'm gonna run this light. Made it. It's yellow. So I've got uh, an X-Way Ripple that I just got shipping confirmation for that is in route. So that will be my the travel board for doing stuff like this. Security guard over there at uh, Dior just waved to me. Everybody's super nice here. I guess it's a Midwest thing. There's Prada. Doesn't the devil wear Prada? I heard that. But hopefully the sound isn't horrible. If it is, then I'm just gonna have to put music over it or something, I don't know, because it's really neat. Ooh, Gibbons Steak and Fish. I like steak, I like fish. There's a car behind me and I want away from him. Yeehaw. Oh, he, was, he wants to follow me. But this truck's gonna block him, hee <laughs> hee. Oh, speed bumps. Ugh, I don't like those. I've always, and here's the thing, I've always wanted one of these brownstone type things. These are so cool. All right, I'm gonna let this car pass because he uh, doesn't wanna deal with skateboarders, I don't think. Thank you. Nice, sir. Uh, let's go. Where should we go? I think I've reached the end of the skyscraper area. We'll see how long this thing can go without uh, overheating. My, I'm using my cell phone and those things overheat and this is a really busy street which I'm not gonna go down. I don't really like riding on sidewalks, but I'm more comfortable around cars than I am people. Not that there's anybody out this time of day. But anyway, I've got uh, an X-Way Ripple coming, and that uh, I'm going to use for when I travel. So I'll be able to do some skateboarding while I'm on the road. And I have a feeling that this mic is just clipping hard. But maybe I'll get a surprise. So these things, look at these, look at these. That would be so cool to have one of these like houses. Or, I think they're called brownstones, at least that, that's what I always called them. And down, downtown Chicago's not bad. Oh, Lollapalooza starts today. It's Thursday and uh, so if you're in Chicago for Lollapalooza, have fun. Go get a Velvet Taco. Urban Outfitters, I thought they went bankrupt. Didn't they go broke for going the big W word? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I've got a green light, so I'll use it. All the cool people are out this morning. These roads are way nicer than Michigan, geez. I'm in uh, mode three. There's a Beamer, de Beamer dealer. All right, I am uh, nowhere near where I was, and I don't know where I'm at, so... That's not a one-way, I could've gone that way. I need to head towards the skyscrapers. And this road, I think, is not conducive to skateboarding, so I'm gonna go back and get back on that road that I just passed. 
the trucks on this uh, board are super tight, so it's hard to make U-turns because I'm a heavier rider, so nothing there, nothing here, except for that car behind me that doesn't like me cutting in front of them. We're going to have to deal with it. How far have I gone? Almost two miles. That's not bad. Whew. Maybe I'll get lucky with the sound on this. I'm super hope, hope, hopeful. I need to figure out, a, I need to get some more of those muffs so I can have them in more locations than just one. Because I'm always going to forget them every time. People out jogging. My son's in the gym working out, and I'm out farting around on a skateboard on the Chicago streets. Here comes a scooter. This road's pretty boring here. I am pretty much lost. I don't know. There's skyscrapers over here, so we'll go this way. At least, so if I want to get back, I got to make sure I don't go um, more than one bar down more on my remote. And then I'll probably have to stop the uh, video because I'll need to use my phone to get back to wherever I'm staying, which I don't know where that is. It's at a Hyatt. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was on a one-way street. I do that all the time, even in cars, like driving down the wrong street, wrong way. Any cars behind me? Nope. So I get the whole road. Look at that, holy cow, that's what I want. I want something like that. That would be cool. All right. So anyway, I hope this is at least interesting. I like watching videos of people just cruising through areas and I thought maybe it'd be kind of fun. As long as I don't wipe out. And we got more of these brownstones that I am, I don't know why I'm so infatuated with them. One of my best friends in high school had, had one or ended up having one. He inherited it from his parents. He sold it, but it was downtown Portland. So on, uh, Northwest 7th, I think it was. There's a little area where there's like, I think there's like six brownstones in all of Portland. There's no, it's not a common thing. No, it was uh, Southwest 7th, like right downtown over by, like just south of Powell Boulevard. It was a super cool place. I love that place. We used to party in there all the time. All right, Clark Street is familiar. Cars. No cars, so I get all the street. Nothing behind me. So this board ends up being pretty good. I have I uh, received an email back from Wowgo about the uh, wheels because I wanted to put on the better wheels for Chicago, and it ended up not working out. This is James' house. I don't know. It, the screws stripped. I mean, so whoever installed the wheel screws on the WowGo 2S Max actually uh, tightened them down with a freaking uh, impact wrench and red Loctite probably, because they're not moving. I broke the tool that came with the board and then I uh, broke the uh, screw heads when I used like a real, a real tool. This is not a good way to go. I have bad vibes about this road with buses and stuff. And I don't know where to go. So we're gonna we're gonna about face this. And that's one thing about these those longer boards, you gotta get off it and kick it around. Unless you're one of those guys that can do the longboard tricks. That's not me. I got lucky, I haven't ran through much water.
All right, Clark Street. I think I'm somewhere near Clark Street is where the hotel is. Oh, I gotta just look for the big Trump Tower building, I guess. If I can get to that, then I'm home free. And I think it's probably like 800 miles that way. So we'll just do a little uh, bomb down Clark Street. Cars, cars, no cars. Safe. Lots of joggers out this morning, bicyclists. Hopefully the mic isn't clipping right now. I probably should be heading back anyway because I've been going for a bit. It doesn't go, the range on this with, oh, okay, I see Trump way, that little, that up there, boom, that gray piece. I think that's it. So I'm gonna go that direction. Cause our hotel is like three or four blocks from there. Any cars, yellow? Nope, we're good. So yeah, if you, uh, I encourage you to get an electric skateboard. They're super fun. They're super dangerous, by the way. If you don't know anything about skateboarding, I would recommend maybe getting a, a regular skateboard and getting used to using that. Boom. Yeah, I went far. That's not even, this isn't even remotely close to where I'm supposed to be or where I came from. Now I got cars. Boom, boom, boom. I think we can go. I'm gonna go, I'm running it. I'm backing people up. So I'm going into oncoming traffic. Oh, what's that? Blue door kitchen and garden. That looks intriguing. This is not a one way. I need to loosen the trucks. That's another thing about, you know, having a shorter board, I can just use the kicktail to turn around or turn sharper if I need to. I'm pretty sure this is clipping now. I'm heading straight into the wind. All right. My remote is beeping, so that means I've got to go straight, straight back. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to cut off there. My remote is vibrating, meaning something's issue, some issue is happening. It said disconnect, which that would not be a happy time here. Wow, this is nice down here. Okay, well, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I got to watch out for the crack pipes. We saw a crack pipe yesterday also on the road. Probably should have taken a picture of it. Anyway. I'm gonna go and try and figure out where my hotel is. I think I'm close. I think I'm getting close. All right, well, have a great day, everybody. Enjoy Chicago if you're coming to Lollapalooza. And uh, we had a blast yesterday. We went out for cocktails and had fun and went to Fogo de Chao and ate way too much food. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna go get some breakfast. I told Travis I was gonna head down here I'll meet the ninja for breakfast after my ride. And this bike path is horrible. The street's better. Anyway, I can't stop talking because I'm having way too much fun. I'm going to go. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. Later.